one. It has to be that one. Only if you want it to be good. <sighs> Hey, good job, Kimosabi. Yeah, that was smooth swinging, nature boy. Uh, thanks. So, what did you guys need this for? Hugo and Hoof's Jazzy Jungle Barbecue Sauce. Now, I don't want to brag. Sure you do, Hugo. He's right, I do. Tarzan, this stuff's gonna make us rich! Yes, sir, this sauce here is our ticket, and you'll never guess what the secret ingredient is. Uh... Fruit? Bingo! Yeah, it gives our sauce its extra zing. Yeah, and we owe it all to you, Tarzan. Thanks. Well, I'd do anything for you guys. We're friends. Oh, that's sweet. So you hereby waive all rights, claims on current and or future profits sign here. What? That's what we thought. Friends till the end. So, Hugo and Hoof are still alive. They won't elude me a second time. Assemble a squad. We're going after these treacherous villains. But, sir, their friend the jungle man will protect them. Oh, yes, Tarzan. He was an unknown element last time. But this time, I shall be prepared. Right, right. Let's try the so-called jazzy jungle sauce I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> Dig in, Pops. Over the teeth and through the gum. Look out, Belly. Here it comes. Seasonings that require warnings. Charming. Mmm. Mm. You know, it has rather a smoky flavor. Mm -mm. Much like... Mm. Fire! Fire! Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, Patent pending. <laughs> I provide the secret ingredient. Try it, Jane. I'm sure it's very good, Tarzan, but this sort of dish isn't part of my usual diet. Oh, come on, sis. This is the best barbecue sauce on the continent. That's right, and we couldn't say that if it wasn't true. Well, we could, but we'd risk besmirching our fine reputations. Yes, and fine reputations they are. Especially for two men who are supposedly dead. Colonel Stock, hey, hey. How's tricks? Seize them! <laughs> <laughs> I said go! Don't argue with a man. Look at that nature boy go. Yeah, but he can't hold him off forever, though. We gotta split up, Hugo. Rendezvous when the heat's off. Yeah, good thinking, Hoop. They'll never catch us both. Whoa! Okay, slight miscalculation there. Hugo! Uh, Hang on, I'll get you down. <laughs> Did you think I would come here without a plan? Shame on you. Hugo and Hooft, for your crimes of insubordination, desertion, and evading arrest, you are hereby sentenced to a fate worse than death. Cape Doom. No, oh, not Cape Doom. Anything but Cape Doom. Yeah, give us the guillotine instead. Now, now, give him the guillotine and pardon me as a symbolic gesture. It'll be good PR. Cape Doom? Oh, it's a horrible place, a foreign legion prison, feared for its grueling labor and isolated location. If that's where they are taking Hugo and Hooft, then they are truly lost to us. I have to help them. Yes, we'll contact the local magistrate and let him know that Hugo and Hooft are innocent men. 
Oh, yes, that'll clear this whole situation right up, won't it? Doubtful. The Magistrate can be difficult to contact, and even more difficult to move. Then we'll just have to be persistent. Hugo and Hooft need help now. Tarzan, this is a matter of the law. It's no time for dare-doing. They're my friends. They would do the same for me. My friend, if you are determined to do this, there is another boat headed up north. Will it take me to Cape Doom? No, but it will take you close. Tell the captain you are my friend. He will help. Thank you, Dumont. There's nothing I can do to stop you. Jane. I know. I know. They're your friends. This is as close as we get. The island is about two miles in that direction. Thank you. Usually men try to break out of Cape Doom. You're the first one I've met trying to break in. On speed, Tarzan! Shouldn't have put our faces on that label. Yeah, well, who knew the French ate barbecue? They eat snails. They'll eat anything. You go hoofed. Tarzan, what are you doing here? Oh, you sly dog. Come on. We're not out yet. Not yet. Not ever. Oh, no. You couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, Tarzan? Well, no matter. There's always room for one more inmate. <laughs> Welcome to Cape Doom. Masquerade costumes? When I ordered ten crates of tea? Oh, ridiculous. Yes, sir, I'm trying to reach the magistrate. The, the, the magistrate. So sorry, mademoiselle, but you should contact the magistrate through the mail. Yes, but I'm quite far away, and this is a rather urgent matter. Ah, then you can speak with the magistrate. I can? Wonderful. There. You see what you can accomplish when you go through the proper channels? As soon as we receive a written request for radio contact. Seems it's a frustrating day for us both, Jane. Back, your dogs! Back! Hey, sorry we dragged it down here with us, buddy. You would have done the same thing for me. After all, we're friends. Yeah, well, okay, and let's look at the bright side. At least you look good in stripes. Yeah, they accentuate your already powerful shoulders and taper nicely to your waist. Hey! Don't I know ye? Uh, me? Uh, no, not me. Uh, I've never been here before. In fact, uh, I'm not staying long. I'm just passing through, really. I do know ye. You're the dog who stole me money in a rigged game of dice! <laughs> oh, oh, slow down there, buddy. I, I've never played dice before in my life. Yeah, he's more of a shuffleboard player. I'm the dice player. I'm gonna break your teeth! Leave them alone. Oh. And what's he to you, wee man? They're my friends. Enough! Try to. Quiet. There are no excuses here. There is only obedience. Take him to the pit. Oh, no, Stack. Hey, not the pit. Oh, yeah. Come on, now. Don't you think that's a wee bit harsh? Oh, it is far more than a bit harsh. It is profoundly cruel. <laughs> Welcome to the pit, Tarzan. When you disobey, this is your reward. 
There is no food or water here, but it's an excellent chance for you to work on your tan. Oh, jeez. Here comes Tarzan. Tarzan! Are you all right, buddy? Speak to us! Hello? Hello? Oh. Ah, Jane. It pains me to see you like this. If only there was something I could do. Well, there isn't a thing that you can do, Monsieur Demont. Not a single thing. And because of it, I may lose Tarzan. You're wrong, Jane. There is something I can do. You know how to contact the magistrate? No, but perhaps I can give you the next best thing. Laziness. Pure laziness. Take him to the pit. Don't worry about a thing, nature boy. Yeah, that's right. We're busting out of here tonight. Oh. Observe. Uh, water! Water! I, I gotta have water! It is no fault of us and likes of you. But if you need rest, perhaps a trip to the pit is in order. Oh, I, mm, I, I'm i fine. I just got my second wind. Feel like a new man now. I thought as much. Yeah, in your dreams, meathead. Hugo, you rakish devil. Tonight, we escape. Hang on, Tarzan, buddy. We'll have you out in a jiff. What about me? Well, we thought you might just stay here and rot, you big, exceptionally dumb lug. We'll send you a postcard from Zaire. Have it your way. Escape! Prisoners escaping! Escape! Oh, oh boy, Junior! Come on, let's vamoose! Ignore him, he's delirious! Prisoners escaping! <laughs> hey, looky here! Thought last night's gruel had some zing to it. Your turn. <laughs> I guess I've been eating too many carbs. Over here, this way. Send out the dogs. <laughs> Careful. Thanks, buddy. Oh, no. They're sending the dogs, and I smell like bacon. Come on, boys. We're saved. Look. Right where Papillon left it. Let's go. Boy, they got Tarzan. Should we go back? We got him. We got him. Where are the other two? I'll skin him myself. Tarzan can handle himself, right? Yeah, sure. We're just getting his way now. Roll for all you're worth, Junior. Don't you think you're setting the sights a little low? You have proven to be a difficult animal to gauge, Tarzan. Far too difficult. So, at high noon tomorrow, you shall hang.
going to eat that. No point in it going to waste. Negligible financial impact. Ah, oh. Now, wait a minute, Hooft. It did cost us something. Well, what's that, Hugo? Our buddy Tarzan. Oh, boy. You got a point there, Junior. Bring out the prisoner. I see no reason to drag this out with last requests and other such boring nonsense. Execute him! <laughs> you came back. Well, we couldn't leave our best buddy behind. Yeah, who'd pick all the fruit for us? Cut them! Run! for your own safety, but you do have a weakness. Execute Hugo and Hooft! <sighs> you actually care about those two dolls. So predictable. And a fitting epithet for the Lord of the Jungle. <laughs> you! What are you doing here? Stopping you from breaking the law, Colonel. Ridiculous! I am the law! Really? The Magistrate may have a different view. What is going on here? Um, just executing criminals, Your Honor. Nobody filed execution orders with my court. Who is in charge here? Well, that's your man up there, sir. Yeah, the one with the evil sneer and the poor people skills. Can't miss him. I trust there is a reasonable explanation for all this. I can explain, sir. Thanks for coming through for us, Lady Jane. Yeah, but next time, feel free to cut it a little less close. How did you get the Magistrate to come? Well, let's just say we can thank Monsieur Dumont. I think that would be appropriate. 
given that I am Monsieur Dumont. Well, hey, that's a scam worthy of us. Yeah, and we don't just toss around compliments like that. <sighs> Tarzan, you really came through for us, pal. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Once again, our lives are indebted to you. I don't know how we'll ever repay you, Nature Boy. Well, you could cut Tarzan in for an equal share of the profits from your source. Whoa, whoa, slow down there, Missy. Uh, don't go getting all carried away. Yeah, he just saved us, not the whole world. Besides, our friendship with Tarzan is pure and beautiful. Yeah, we wouldn't want to cheapen it with something like money. That's right, we'll cheapen it without spending a dime. And you can take that to the bank, Missy. He has to learn to be the greatest of greatest rulers, because Go must take on every task and learn every trick in the book. Next on Disney Cinemagic, we're at the Emperor's New School.